Well, here we go again. We're going to look into the book of Psalms, Psalm 117. Grab your Bibles and look at that, and we will study that together. And we'll also be looking at another couple of Psalms. Psalm 117, only two verses. Now, why do we bring that up? Well, because Psalm 119 has more verses than any other chapter in the Bible. Believe it or not, Psalm 118 is the middle point of the Bible. So we're just backing up to Psalm 117. Now listen to this. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Laud him, all you peoples. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise. What is praise? Praise is celebration. Sometimes we say hallelujah or we sing hallelujah, praise Jehovah. As a matter of fact, I'd like for us to look at a verse of that right now. great song that is. And did you notice in your Bibles that that actual song comes out of the Psalms? It's Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him all His angels. Praise Him all His host. Praise Him sun and moon. Praise Him all you stars of light. Praise Him you heaven of heavens and you waters above the heavens. Does that sound familiar? Well, that's what you just heard in the first verse of the song that we sing so frequently, Hallelujah, Praise Jehovah. What does it mean, laud, L-A-U-D? It's talking about the exaltation of God. When we say hallelujah, we're talking about an expression of rejoicing, an expression of glory, praise. It speaks frequently of the loving kindness of God. As you see in Psalm 117, verse 2. You know, that reminds me of another one of the Psalms. It's Psalm 136. And Psalm 136 has that word loving kindness. Loving kindness is akin to that great word mercy. Mercy is the hesed. 26 times in Psalm 136, you have the loving kindness of God or the mercy of God. What does that mean to us? Well, that says that God's kindness and God's love are eternal. I want you to think about that truth as that's the ending of Psalm 117, verse 2, that God's truth endures forever. That means that God is trustworthy. God is faithful. Never thought about the word forever. It's just continuous. It's always there. I don't think we'll ever be able to grasp or fathom the fullness of the love of God. The most famous verse in the Bible, I use it a lot, is John 3, 16. God so loved, there's the qualifier. He didn't just love the world, but he so loved the world that he gave. He didn't just give anything. He gave his only begotten son, that whoever, man, woman, boy, or girl, red, yellow, black, or white, whoever believes on him will not perish, but have everlasting life. What a great thought. Who among us would give the best that they have? That's what God did. That's sacrifice. That's love. Over and over and over again, he tells us he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Can you say today with the psalmist, praise the Lord? Don't be scared away by that expression. We need to say it every day. Praise the Lord. 
Have a great day today praising the Lord.